Hello and welcome to today's vlog. Man, it is great to be back guys and we got a ton of stuff to go over today. But first, we gotta address this car. We gotta give this thing a wash. It is disgusting. I told you guys back in the beginning that I was gonna drive this car every day and I am living up to my word, but believe me, this thing is getting filthy. I mean, just look at it. It is bad. And of course the worst part of the car besides wheels is always the back. I mean, they are just horrendous, but look at this thing. It does not get much dirtier than this, guys. This is definitely going to be a two bucket wash for sure. Do not want to be scratching this thing up like crazy while I wash it. So let's get started because I want to get this done. I got like 30 minutes to get the car washed and then I'm actually going to meet a good buddy of mine who is thinking about trading in his uh, Challenger 392 and getting a Hellcat. I actually got a really cool video I shot last weekend of his car. I'll put it in right here. <laughs> Pretty sick car, I think he's gonna keep the wheels and he might swap them over to a Hellcat. He's not sure what color he wants to go with yet, so I gotta get this thing washed up so I can head out there and meet him and then we can go from there. But let's get this done and then we'll get back into the car. All right guys, see you in a second. much better there's just something about having a washed car that just makes you feel so much better it's really satisfying to actually get all that dirt off even though I know full well it's probably gonna get dirty again right now and I'm gonna need to wash it again but say la vie that's all right so I am now running super late to meet my buddy but I really wanted to kind of do this video because I haven't done a video in a while it's been like a couple of weeks and the reason for that being is I got really sick on the first week, like definitely ill. Nobody wants to see that. So I actually had to take time off work. And then the following weekend was actually our uh, work Christmas party. Now, I don't know what your guys' uh, work Christmas parties are like, but uh, mine are just a little bit something like this. I want to do something that scares me to feel alive. What did you guys do to him? Let go of those lights, buddy. Yeah, they, they get a little out of control. So <laughs> I needed time to even just recover from that on the Sunday uh, and get back at it, uh, you know, work the next day. So yeah, it's just been a hectic couple of weeks, but man, I miss you guys. I really wanted to make a video. So I decided I was gonna go out, do some stuff today. I got a ton of running around to do. I got some other filming I wanted to do. I got two other videos I wanna put up for you guys as well. So I wanna do a kind of an update review on the spec clutch and flywheel so I'm gonna do that one that should launch around very similar to the time you guys see this video and I'm also going to do another update video on the tires so they're a high performance all season you know four seasons I kind of wanted to make like the part one video for how they've been so far in the kind of fall slash beginning of winter because we are technically in winter right now and that kind of brings me to my next point I, I promised that I was gonna drive this car all year round and I'm so far living up to it but man it's like knock on wood this time last year I had like two feet of snow and right now it, it's it's cold it's rainy it's kind of really frozen in the morning but other than that it's actually kind of nice so <laughs> hopefully that stays that way for the next little while we'll see but uh, you know I'm not I'm not counting on it I expect snow to come soon uh, it's always been a traditional thing out here. It's usually January, February we get the snow. We hardly ever get any in December. So this year seems to go back to the old status quo, whereas last year was kind of an anomaly, right? That wasn't normal for us to get that much snow in December. I think we were even getting snow in November. So that's kind of crazy. But yeah, let's get going. I gotta go meet my buddy. As soon as I'm done there, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do any filming, but we'll see what he has to say and what the dealership has to say. But really today is just about you know, kind of finding out if he's gonna trade in his car and what that's gonna look like, what it's gonna cost, kind of idea. We're gonna go see 
uh, an old friend of mine who's the GM of the dealership there. I bought a couple vehicles from him in the past and he's always helped me out. So it's always good to know people in the industry and, and really guys that you trust in and you want to kind of give them as much of business as you can because they've done right by you. You want to kind of return the favor and bring them as many customers as you can. So that's kind of what I'm doing here today. So let's see how that goes. And then after that, we're going to head out to another part of town and do some more filming and uh, I got to pick up some stuff for the house. So yeah, it's going to be a fun filled day guys. All right. See you in a second. All right, guys. So we just finished up at the dealership. That was a bit of uh, some serious, serious negotiation. Sorry, I'm trying to like look where I'm going and chat at the same time. But yeah, that went uh, that went extremely well. So uh, we're gonna be doing some filming in a well, probably a couple months now. But he did order a car, so that's gonna be really cool to see. Uh, it's definitely gonna be in the new year once that thing arrives and he wants to film it do the whole unveil So that's gonna be really cool to see so I don't want to give it away Just yet, but it's definitely gonna be a pretty cool car. Uh, it's not a Ford, but <laughs> I'm not I'm not like this die-hard Ford guy. I don't know why everyone uh, Everyone always seems to pick sides. I, I like cars. I like them in general I just happen to drive a Boss 302, but uh, a lot of my buddies who are also car guys have uh, different cars so you know we all drive different things and that's that's what actually kind of makes it more fun is when uh it's not just one group of mustang guys or something like that right it's nice to have some variety so yeah that's gonna be really cool i can't wait to see the car actually show up i've never seen one the way he specced it out the color options he did uh, are definitely unique but you know what the cool thing is when you order a car and you order it for yourself it's for you and it's the way you want it, not necessarily the way you think other people are gonna want it or, oh, when I go to sell it, is somebody gonna like this? I mean, forget all that. Like, get it the way you want it. If I was factory ordering a car, I would do the exact same thing. I wouldn't think twice about it. I'd just be like, that's the way I want that car, that's the way I'm getting that car. So, a lot of respect for him to do it that way. I'm really excited to see this thing that's gonna be really cool so uh, now I'm gonna do some more running around I'm gonna head out over to uh, Fort Langley pick up some more stuff so that's gonna be kind of cool I'll probably pull the camera out and we'll do a little walk around and stuff like that and uh, that'll be fun so I'm gonna start heading that way right now I'll talk to you guys in just a minute all right made it out to Fort Langley uh, just kind of finishing up now so it's actually really cool out here I like this place it's like really old timey kind of all the buildings are a little bit older so there's some unique shops out here there's this one coffee shop that I like to get my coffee from they're really nice so that's where I'm gonna go ahead right now but the one thing I wanted to talk to you guys about while I'm ah, she looks so much better when she's clean I love it even though I know this is only gonna last like a day and then it's gonna be filthy as you can tell right it's already going to start, but anyways. So we're like two weeks away till the end of the year and I just wanna say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to this channel. As I'm filming this right now, I have 415 subscribers, which is amazing considering I started this channel back in April. I don't promote it so much. I promote it a little bit on one Facebook group, but really it's just been word of mouth. You guys like the content, you subscribe, and it means a lot to me. Every time I get a notification that I have a new subscriber, it like just gives me this new injection of energy. So all I'm gonna ask for you guys is this one thing. I would love to see if we can get this channel to 500 subscribers by New Year's Eve. So if you have any friends who watch these videos, show them, ask them to subscribe. If you're watching this right now and you like them, but you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Cause that way I can grow this channel. I've got a whole bunch of really cool adventures coming up in the new year. We are gonna throw this car back on the dyno. We're gonna see what she can make now that the weather's a little bit cooler. We have some parts coming for it, so we wanna kinda wait until we've done that, but we're gonna go over this tune again. So I know a lot of guys are interested in the tune that's in the car, and we actually wanna go over that again. So we're gonna do that, and I actually have a track day lined up coming up in the spring, which is gonna be extremely wet and greasy. So that'll actually be kinda fun to do an actual full-blown track day in the rain, which 
traditionally it does rain that time of year. So we're gonna test these Continental tires and see if they are really as good as Continental says, being one of their best all season kind of high performance tires. So that video is gonna be cool as well. And then next year racing season is gonna be just, I'm gonna take it to the next level, man. We're gonna drag race, we're gonna autocross, we're gonna road race. So I have a lot of stuff in, in store for this channel. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna put a few more videos out this week, guys, you know, kind of make up for the last couple of weeks where I was missing some stuff. I do apologize about that, but we're gonna try and get this thing going. And like again, like I said it before, guys, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys next week. All right, take care. Bye.